Now to a discussion on family and the question, does size matter? Desert News reporter Lois Collins has been looking into this issue and is here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so what is the ideal family size? Depends on who you ask, but surveys show, and including our own recent American Family Survey, that most people think it's two or three kids. Two or three? Mm -hmm. The McCanns, I'm one of ten. What, what, one of what four. category does that put me in? One of four. Well, you know, the truth of the matter is that any family size can be successful, but big families and little families have built-in advantages that are different. So if you're in a big family, your kids are more apt to more naturally learn cooperation. Right. They learn to share. They learn to wait their turn. They can learn patience. Um, if you're in a small family, you, it's almost a given that you're going to get more of moms and dads' one-on-one -on -one attention. Right. You're going to get read to more. You're going to get more help maybe with homework, that kind of thing. So then families just have to say, okay, this is what I'm not giving my kid. I have to make sure they have it. And we talked to some families that were very intentional. There's a family that has one child, and they make it a point to make sure this kid has play dates and extended family time with his cousins. And, and you can do all of those things. The bottom line is you just have to be aware of what you are providing and what you're not providing and, and fill in those gaps. I had a, a co-anchor in Las Vegas who was an only child, and I was mentioned one of 10. And it was as if we have had come from different planets. We got along just fine, but it was interesting how perspective was completely different. In what ways? Just in, in that uh, one, all the attention yeah. was on her. And for me, you'd, you'd get a little attention here and there because there were so many of us. It's an interesting fact that in recent research that Alex Jensen at BYU's done, and he hasn't finished publishing it yet, so I hope I'm not stealing any of his thunder, but he told we'll just me keep this. just between us. Yeah, he, he told me this, that a lot of times in families where there are two kids or three kids and the older kids go off to college, when they interview the younger kid who's left at home, suddenly they've got all of mom's and dad's attention, yeah. and they hate it really? because there's a lot of scrutiny, too. Bottom line is, if you have a teeny tiny family, you need to make sure that your kid doesn't think he's the center of the universe, yeah. that you're not helicoptering, and it is way harder to be a helicopter, you know, snowplow parent if you've got 10 kids to, to do that on behalf of. And if you are a parent who has 10 kids, like your parents do, then you have to be very intentional in setting aside time and in making sure that they also have other adults. It's it's not a matter of letting the older kids parent, which happens a fair amount. Sure. They do some parenting duties. They do the babysitting, I don't but, get that. But what you need to do is make sure that the kids have adults that can kind of fill in. And that's why there's a carve out in some communities. The LDS Church is one. Yeah. There's some cultural groups where it's kind of a take a village approach where you have home teachers and teachers and all sorts of people who have input in kids' lives, those kids do not feel the same lack of guidance and individual attention that you see in other, in, you know, with little tiny families. In your research, biggest factor to a child's happiness at home, what is it? Um, it varies from child to child, and we all want to be able to take a magic pill out of the bottle and give it to our kid, but right. some kids need lots of attention. The biggest factor is probably knowing your own child, that individual child well, and trying to meet his or her individual needs. All right, Lois, thank you for your insights. Appreciate that. Always good to have you here. You can read more about family size at national.deseretnews.com. Next, we'll set the kids aside.